Hi guys, good morning. This is Dan. Welcome to Angle Guides. For those of you that are new, welcome. For those of you that are returning, welcome back. For those of you that support me over on Patreon, thank you very much for your subscriptions. I greatly appreciate them. This is the daily forecast for all signs. For originally, it's created for. Uh, oh my god, I don't even know what day it is. Oh, we're not even on June anymore. <laughs> Stop, on me. I haven't turned the camera over. I mean, the calendar over. So it's for Wednesday, June second. Uh, it is not solely created for that date. It can also be utilized on any day that you're seeing it. So I would rather trust the message than the date that it was created for. Uh, this is um, a broad spectrum reading, so I will speak in broad terms. You have to figure out where this best fits in your life. Please check out the video description on my YouTube channel. Um, in there, there's ways to contact me for a private reading, how to support the channel, how to follow me on my socials, and also things I want you to think about when utilizing any of my readings. Um, some of this may fit, some of it may not, all of it's okay, don't worry about it if it doesn't, and if it does, great, please utilize it to the best of your ability. Um, so, let's see, we will be building on Sunday's reading a little bit, and that's always down in the left-hand corner at the end of the reading, so if you want to understand what I'm referencing to when I talk about the underpinning energy, that's the reading that goes out on Sunday that shows us sort of just another card for the week right? Uh, I do three cards and they sort of underpin. It's so just another layer of the energies that are going on throughout the week. All right, so let's see what's going on here. Please hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video. Um, subscribe to the channel. Uh, subscriptions are great. You can join us here every day. Check out your monthly horoscopes. They're out there on the channel for you too. And I have a whole list of unboxing videos too if you are interested in looking at other different decks. You can also go through those decks and see which decks are in there. And if you want to book a private reading with me, you can request a specific deck if there's something that really rings out to you or you feel particularly particularly drawn to. All right, so let's see. What do the cards want us to know? So for this morning, we have, oh, I'll take it. We have the beautiful energy of the star. Still in this air energy. The moon is in Aquarius, though. That's what I did find out, too. Um, we're also in Gemini season, or at least the moon was in Aquarius for the last couple of days, I believe. So I think that's also some of this um, emphasis on air energy. The star is Aquarian energy. It's Archangel Jophiel is the representation and the star is always that calm, that peace, that quiet sort of nature, um, that ability to sort of be still and know is the way that I see the star, right? It's that um, we understand our presence, we understand our value, there's no question to that, we're not worried about it, we're not necessarily getting involved in, the, in, the, in other people's stuff or in their, um, you know, concerns or dramas. We kind of are staying in our own lane, in a way, with the star. Not even in a way. The star is very much in her own lane, as far as I'm concerned. Um, it's a very peaceful card. There's clarity. There's calm. Uh, we saw, I believe... <coughs> excuse me, in my throat. I feel like I'm having an allergic reaction. We saw the Four of Swords yesterday. So to me, it's like if we took any effort in finding that meditative space and finding that space of reflection the star is kind of the gift of having done that for ourselves right if we cleared out our mind a little bit if we've done a little bit of the work we also saw that yin yang card yesterday which was sort of about kind of accepting the balance that is within each and every one of us or maybe the balance that's in life uh we need both pieces you know light and dark good and bad all of that sort of stuff they work harmoniously together, kind of balancing each other out. We need those things, and we need to find acceptance for those things before we can actually sort of create change or movement and, and evolve, right? So there's nothing wrong with that. I'm totally using the dog to balance the deck. He's sitting on my lap right now. He wants to come sit on my lap while I read the star to you. So to me, this is the piece of that, finding that balance. Hopefully this signifies that the majority of you did find that balance, and you are um, in that at this time. Um, I would say if it's not a massive day for uh, activity, don't worry about it. You know, if you're not doing a whole lot, I would sit and sort of rest in the in the well-being of this card. with self-assuredness, but it's quiet, right? It's subtle. It's not like in your face banging you over the head. It's more about this calm inner peace that dwells within and um, really sort of um, 
what's the word? I would say um, uh, nurturing that, loving that, um, appreciating that, being in gratitude of that is definitely part of this card. This is so hard to reach the cards when the dog's in my lap. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, little buddy. So it says here, a dream come true, believe in yourself, the end of a difficult situation. And I think that we've also put that into play there. Um, and then we have card number 31, the door to value. I love that there's all this money. What I have realized, guys, is that I thought I had done a unboxing on this deck and I had not. <laughs> So we're going to learn about this deck as we go this month. I may do a later unboxing, but I kind of feel like I could have sworn we had done an unboxing on this. I love the door to value. I think the value is our own. I think the value could be money for some of you, but because this is not necessarily a Pentacles card coupled with it, it may just be about how to set our own assets into value, right? Or uh, to make money for us. The calm and the peacefulness, the clarity of the star enables us to sort of find that within ourselves and then maybe hopefully turn that into a money-making opportunity of some sort that could very much be available to us. Remember, we have that um, those two aces this week, right? I believe so. We have the ace of swords, which is the clarity of the mind first. Then we have the ace of wands, which was that sort of decisive action and going after our desire. If we're listening to the quietness, right, the deeper part of who we are, the star being that sort of like spirit aspect of ourselves, acknowledging ourselves, honoring ourselves, we start to see ourselves from maybe a different perspective or a clearer perspective. We're able to then maybe monetize or um, exemplify uh, or nurture our gifts. And those can become valuable to us. Those can open doors for us, not just necessarily doors to money, maybe doors to richness in our relationships or richness in, you know, how we're treated or how we feel validated. But we're not necessarily pulling that validation from outside sources, right? To me, it feels like the door that we might be opening is maybe our own door of self-acceptance, our own door to our own heart, the peace and the, the honesty that comes with that through the star. Does that make sense? Remember, there's that joy stone underneath all of it this week, and yesterday's stone was clarity. So finding that clarity within ourselves would also bring about this aspect of the star. For those of you that aren't feeling this, you're feeling like, no, I'm just a crazy mess and I don't sense what he's talking about. These cards are letting you know that this is available to you if you just want to stop and tap into it. But you have to stop and tap into it, right? You have to accept or believe that this exists out there in the universe for you. And then you also have to believe on some, in some aspect that you're deserving of it, right? And so again, I, I go back to yesterday's reading where it was a the beginning, with, which is the Four of Swords, is that taking that conscious um, step or that actionable step towards clearing the mind, Xing people and their opinions sort of out of our space and getting clear on what it is that we think and what we want and finding that stability. That stability goes from that four into this eight. There was another thing that I noticed too. I think that there was two fours yesterday. We had the four of swords and then I think the numerology on the second card was also a four and I caught it after the fact when I was putting the cards away. We have another four here in 31. So maybe that's not what it was. I feel like there was two different fours. Something was going on. I can't remember. But anyways, um, uh, there you go. <laughs> Sorry, sidetracked with the dog in my lap. Let's see what the grounding stone is. Okay, and here is the grounding stone. Let me lift the dog. <laughs> He's so funny. He's totally like sitting in my lap today. I don't know why. Today is enjoy. Ah, sorry. He's kicking the computer. So on um, obsidian, which is a very um, uh, strong, uh, powerful stone that kind of wards off negativity, right? The piece of the star would also ward off negativity. This door to value also enables us to realize our own value, our own truth. And so we shouldn't necessarily entertain things that are maybe negative or beneath us or give us trouble. Um, hopefully we're turning corners in um, our, how we see ourselves or how we value ourselves. We should be finding and seeking out what that with which we enjoy. Even the simpler things. The star kind of takes me to this place of simplicity too. So if there's simple things that bring us enjoyment, ground in those things today. Be grateful for those things. Be appreciative of those things. That opens these doors to value even more. It helps you to value the relationships, 
those simpler things that you love. It also brings you closer to that idea of the all of the things that we saw this week thus far. Joy, peace, and clarity. All of those things are in this star card, right? So I love that we're seeing her after having seen those grounding stones. They're all kind of going in a pattern to me. Enjoy this time, guys, and really, how do I want to say it? Like, utilize it for the best of, um, to the best of your ability. We're after this, you know, full lunar eclipse in Sagittarius, which is a very positive, expansive um, opportunity. We're at the mid-year point. We just hit Jan uh, June 1st. So we're at the mid-year. It's maybe time to, like, settle with what's gone on in the first half of the year, reflect upon it settle it into a place of acceptance and then begin to move forward in the second half of the year. Does that make sense? So enjoy everything that you do and um, I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you feel so inclined and um, have a wonderful day. It really should be um, filled with beauty and, and enjoyment today. All right, have a great day you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.